In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most fun offenses to run in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click subscribe. It's completely free to subscribe. It allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies on the channel. And you can always unsubscribe at a later day if you don't enjoy the content. That being said, I'm super pumped to jump into the empty tray stack. This offense was something that I was running at the end of Madden 21. And honestly, Bunch is definitely the meta. It's one of the better off. It's probably the best offense this year, which is why I wrote my full offensive guide on the Gun Bunch. If you want to get that, that's in the description. But I do want to highlight the empty tray stack because it is ridiculously good this year and uh, i'm going to show you a little preview play and i actually put a one hour and a half breakdown on the empty tray stack into my uh true fan membership or my premium membership that is on sale for just five dollars a month you can get a become a premium member we've got competitive madden coming this week we're gonna be doing a ton of film study analysis and breaking down exactly what the pro players are doing on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. Every week in our premium membership, you get three tips exclusive to just premium members. You get an offensive meta update, a defensive meta update, and you also get a pro player breakdown. So a lot of great content over there. We're also going to be uh, releasing our Discord server uh, just to our premium members for Madden 22 season. I uh, just want to do a little something different and try to give those uh, those premium members the best access to me as possible. So uh, that being said, guys, let's jump into the video. If you want to get this full gun empty tray stack, this offense is a ton of fun. And there is a link in the description where you can sign up for the True Fan membership for just five bucks a month. It's over on the Patreon. All right, guys, so the play we're going to be going over is the uh, the fade out. This play is my favorite play. Um, this is my favorite play from this formation. So basically what we're going to do first, we're going to show it to you a couple different formations or breakdowns. With the way the user is this year, um, this snap throw to square is ridiculously good. Just snap, throw the ball, get your yardage. I'll tell you right now, I pretty routinely will throw um, – 20 of 20 now down the field for like five yards a pop with this this is a great little concept and i wanted to show you also what this does against cloud flats and that's what does it make this wheel route wide open you'll see here just passing that wheel to the left and as you see that was cloud flats and the cloud flats and the hard flats this year whether they're zone dropped or not they get sucked inside ridiculously this year so i'm going to put hard flats in seam flats now and i just want to show you this seam flat gets sucked down as well as you see there that snap throw is so good because deep blue zones they don't react to the ball this year so you might be thinking well what if they go to a cover two Cover two is going to be even worse. You're going to see here just pass lead this to the left once he cuts up field, and you're going to kill cover two with this thing. This is an incredible offense. It's super simple to run. And then let's say, okay, well, they're going to run some man coverage on you. Okay, so they're going to run some man coverage on you. What you're going to do is you're just going to snap, throw the ball to square just like that. Really easy, six yards of pop. Super, super simple and i mean just super effective guys now if they run press man to man i do want to show this though this r1 receiver will oftentimes get open especially if that's a, a little bit faster of a player you're going to see here gronkowski's not super fast so he's not going to be able to outrun him but i'll i'll sub in a running back here let me show you this real quick so you can go to the running back package um we're not running back package but wide receiver wide receiver three stack package i like to put my fastest receiver on the outside and then we'll put our our uh, i like to put my best slot receiver on the inside chris godwin um so i'm gonna put him there and then what you'll see is if we go to that back to that fade out play you're gonna see that now that we have a little bit more speed in that slot position if they just run if they just come out and run like cover two man watch the r1 you're just gonna inside pass lead this this is gonna cook cover two man for a one play score pretty much every play they're not going to be able to run cover two man on you. Um, what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to um, shade their coverage over the top. So if they shade their coverage over the top, then what you're going to see is this tight end route. We're just going to low ball this. And as you see, it's cooking man to man coverage as well. The other thing that becomes wide open whenever they shade their coverage over the top is this square receiver. So wherever their user goes, you're going to throw the opposite side. So I'm just going to low ball to the square receiver, easy snap throw 
just simple five, 10 yards of pop. And this offense is so fun because you just carve the defense up. And the thing is, what will happen is they'll start they're, they're trying to find they're trying to find the coverage they're trying to find the coverage they're trying to find the coverage they're not going to be able to find the coverage and then what they're going to do is they're going to get over aggressive and then you're going to burn them over the top for a one play score so from a consistency perspective this is literally the most consistent offense I've ever I've ever seen uh, from a, as far as like having players open every single time now uh, cover three you certainly are able to hit this deep crossing route right in that little seam window one little trick that you can do to make that even more effective is you can go ahead and you can actually smart route this route. So I'll show you that. I'm gonna smart route the X receiver and you'll see right here, he's just gonna get a little bit deeper. And as you can see, right up the seams in a very unique position. Now, we have bombs for every coverage on this uh, in this in this offense. Um, and the fade wheel is honestly, it's my base play because it's the, I mean, literally it's super quick snap. You just come out, you snap the ball, you'll dot. I mean, you inside pass lead that streak over there all day long. There's just nothing. It's just, it's just ridiculously hard to stop this. And where you start to work your opponent is you start to work your opponent into this cover four drop where they're just going to want to bend, but not break. They're never going to want to do anything. Well, then what this, then what you'll see here is if you smart out that tight end post, now what you've got is, and I'll show you this again, but if you take the, the wheel route off the field, what you'll have um, specifically against cover four drop, because that's where you're going to lead them to, I guarantee it. They're going to go to this. But once you have them consistently running cover four drop, just drag or slant the, 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 the triangle receiver and watch what this will do against cover four drop. Pass lead that tight end to the left, and as you see, you've got an absolute laser over the top of the cover four drop so there's so much that we can do with this offense i don't have time to unpack everything in this video but suffice it to say guys this offense is incredible it really is it's so effective um match coverage you're going to be able to bomb over the top for a one play score uh you're going to be able to do that against so many different coverages in this this offense is ridiculous guys it really is um it's by far my my most fun offense um, bunch. I'll probably run bunch more just because um, you know it's probably more effective in the in the totality of everything. But like you don't even have to worry about pressure either because everything's open so fast this year. And then you go to something like post wheel and you just bomb them over the top for a one play score. If they start running quarters on you, um, you've got fade out uh, for cover two. Cover two is not good. Um, and it's definitely not good if they try to do that to the play fade out. This triangle route, I'm telling you right now, probably the most unstoppable wheel route that I've seen this year. It is so good. Um, even if they're going to run man coverage, I'll show you this real quick. Even if they run man coverage, you see here, if you snap the ball fast enough, you're going to instantly get separation before they're even ready to get out there. The other thing that you're going to be able to do, let's say they play in that press man that I was talking about where they're shading underneath or trying to get in your face and really just blitz you. What you'll see is this triangle receiver just pass lead him to the left and he'll get over the top there. That time I made a bad throw with my quarterback. I should have lobbed that. But you're going to see so much separation within this offense. This offense is so good. It's really easy to run, too, um, because everything's just open, man. Everything is open. Just lob this over the top to the left. And look at this dot right here. This right here is something that you're going to be able to do a ton uh, this year because of how bad the deep halves are and because of the way that the deep halves really play more inside. Now, right there, Brady didn't get the ball out there enough. Let me show you one more time. So, again, if I press coverage, all I'm going to do is once he gets to the sideline, I'm just lobbing this to the left just like this right here, and then I can get in this position with Chris Godwin. Now, obviously, there's more that we can talk about. We're not going to talk about everything in this video. Um, if you want to learn this offense, like I said, go to the True Fan membership. There's a link in the description where you can go to that for just 5 bucks a month. Uh, I just love this route. I really do. I think that you can use or catch it. There's so much you can do with that. Now, man coverage does defend that much better, but everything else is open your cross or the tight end is open your out route is open the route to the running back becomes more open if you low ball this you'll be able to put to cut it off as well um if they're doing some kind of man coverage on you so this offense is so much fun guys 
I cannot uh, stress enough how good this offense really is and how hard it really is for them. It doesn't matter what coverage they're going to play. You're going to have so many routes open every single time. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you had a lot of fun watching this stuff. Five wide is really good this year. Most people have no idea how to defend five wide. And so I'd encourage you, if you want to learn my gun empty track, uh, um, gun empty trace stack, uh, little mini scheme over at the premium membership, go ahead and sign up for the premium membership. There's a link in the description where you can sign up for just $5 a month. You're getting defensive videos every week, offensive videos every week. And the best part, in my opinion, is we actually do really significantly deep dives into pro player schemes we discussed dreamy uh in our last update so just a great product in my opinion five bucks a month for all of that content you're not going to find that deal anywhere else so thanks for your time thanks for your support and if you want to get that uh premium membership just sign up at the link in the description below it's for just five bucks a month